Well, it soon comes back around. It's going to be a crazy year. So start getting excited. Because festival season is back, baby! We're starting off this year with an old favourite. It's Slam Dunk Festival. It's a two-day pop punk and alternative festival with one up north and one down south. And we've been going for years. It's a great way to start off festival season 2023 from Hatfield up to Leeds as we have loads of fun, drink loads of beer and see some great bands. We are TPD TV and this is Slam Dunk, the real deal. Thank you to our supporters on Patreon. Without you, we couldn't do this. So, we're going to start. <laughs> we're starting off today on a 7.15 a.m. train down to Hatfield. All the essentials here. We've got water for the hydration. We've got coffee for the energy. We've got smurf ice for the vibes and vape for the lungs. We have arrived in Hatfield after a very uncomfortable rammed train. Yeah, that is tight, that. That is tight. <laughs> That's not how tight I wanted this wristband. Feeling good, Mez? Yeah, I just tried some sunglasses with me. There'll be some area where you I just don't them. think they will. Of course they will. It's a festival. We should have a bet. You should go into the pits and usually people lose sunglasses in the pits. So just like scope around the pits a bit and like scrounge up the floor. Yeah, it's a great idea. Is that what you did to get them? Slam Dunk has a particular kind of audience and they all seem to be Android users. You made them just, sound bad there. We yeah. love them. We, we love them, but I think it's because it's pop punk and everybody who likes pop punk is a bit of an Android user. No, I think it's more the case system. that because these guys are going into pits all the time, they're losing the phones. So they're having to buy cheap shitters. You wish. I don't wish. You yes. fucking skip us. It's important to ask people of their boundaries. Sorry, I was supposed to freeze. You went to freeze. <laughs> So we're in the guest toilet. Look how fucking nice this is. There's a porcelain toilet, porcelain sink, soap. Don't know what that is. Loads of fucking room. I like this. So we're here to get a drink. It's nice to see prices have gone up. It's seven quid for a pint, which is why you should join the Patreon so I can keep using alcohol as a coping mechanism. Thank you. really excited to be here today because the lineup is actually really fucking good. We got Escape the Fate, one of our favourite bands. We got Kids in Glass Houses who haven't played a gig for over 10 years. We got The Offspring for the Rock and Rollers and Enter Shikari if you're a bit more tame. There's some good shit going on today man, I'm excited. I've got a bit of an issue though. This is not someone performing, this is just the interim music in between. It's way too fucking loud, we have to shout to talk. Why? Put it in the background, please. Don't want to be mean, but he's got a massive forehead. There's a record store. And of course, from Leeds, Crashes from Leeds. We're not going to buy records because who's going to carry around a vinyl all day? But when we went to buy a record the other day, the guy in the shop said, Come and see us at Sandham. So let's go see what they've got. He does us his toes! Oh, sunglasses! They might have sunglasses! <laughs> And here we see the Android user getting into the place where they find their Android phones. The fucking bin. I'm a dickhead, I've left my sunglasses at home. Yeah, there we go, in the, in the shot, in the shot she's a dickhead. But don't worry, I can buy some socks, I can buy a full on record that I can carry around with me all day. But none of these people have got any <laughs> sunglasses that I can buy. You know what, you'd make so much more money if hey, you just I'm gonna some interrupt sunglasses. Mary, Mary Morning like she usually oh, does. God. And let's go have some fun. You've yeah. never heard a woman moan in your life, Mary. <laughs> Did you know it stands for Japanese Victor Corporation? As a man, we are blessed with the urinals. As a man, we are blessed with, with a cock. cock. We've met loads of nice people today. And now Neck Deep's playing the best band in this scene. Because the thing with pop punk is, aside from Neck Deep, it's pretty easy, in it? Rosie, it's your favorite band, Trash Ball! You see that at the end, didn't it? We're at one of the uh, one of the main stages, I guess. The sound is so quiet that but I'm not even shouting, and I bet you can hear it. It's mad how quiet that is. Tell the engineer, get the fucking limiter off, man. I know what you do. I know you take the limiter off so it sounds like more full when the real headliner comes on. Just don't do that. Give them the fucking opportunity to wow people. Do you think it's worth going lost property and saying I've lost my sunglasses? They just, look like any nondescript sunglasses. Can I just see all the ones you've got? I, I would do that. Shall we? Yeah. All right, melancholy gang, stand up. We're off to see Spanish love songs. I know what you're thinking. Me 
no hablo España and I'm not in love. Well, it doesn't matter because listen to this. As good as Spanish love songs are, there's a band playing at 10 past 2 and I fucking love them, it's holding absence. If you haven't heard of them, go fucking listen to them. Holding absence! I wonder what volume Moose he uses in his hair. Back to back stages are a great idea, but not when there's a band on one side and then on the other side. There's another, another band doing their sound check. It sounds like a fucking night in my bedroom with all these competent musicians playing around. I might start getting two shots of vodka, a water, and a big cup. And having a nice hydrating drink costume, a beer, a pint. It just makes me tired and I'm all over the next day. So you're going to have a double vodka water? Yeah, no, Think how horrible that's going to taste. Yeah. It's important to pace yourself, everybody, which we've not done. And now we're getting three waters. Let's jump! It looks like here at the info point they'll give you some sun cream, which is going to be good for my arms because they're neck. burning. Oh, hey. so my neck is killing me. We're going to get some food. It's like 3 pm. We haven't had any food. So we're going to eat some food to get some food in our belly so we've had some food and that's how you basically stay alive got something called the spicy cheeseburger oh yeah what's that a cheeseburger with a, a jalapeno on it this looks pretty pink i am gonna need a napkin with it that's a real high quality burger that smells that. gorgeous that's very good have a bite Right, this might come across like a boomer moment, but that was so fucking was, loud honestly, in there. That could have been the loudest gig I've ever experienced. Like, I love your static dress, but turn it down a bit, mate. Come on. That was really good. So there's a band from back in the day called Kids in Glass Houses. <laughs> I'd forgive you for never of having heard of them because they never broke up. Never of having heard never of them. Never of having heard of them. That is a real phrase. No, no, but you didn't say that the first time. They broke up 10 years ago and they've got a big comeback coming up next. So we need to get piss and get drink well, I'm real quick. At least. <laughs> I'm a piss man. I'm not gay. <laughs> so here is the benefit to no one having heard of this band in the last 10 years, which is absolutely dead. I mean, it's not absolutely dead give them credit where it's due there's a lot of people here but it's dead enough for us to see one of the best albums of the genre ever recorded live from almost not quite the front but close enough what i'm trying to say is it's dead here but i'm trying to pay my respect to the band but we're gonna have a good time dan's a pussy right, all i'm saying is i want to move over to the right hand side at stage there's a nice bit of shade because captain burnt face man i'm not gay it is getting really burnt and i just want to be out of the sun now are you a criminal a criminal we need some shade we're burning in here so rob's kindly offered his parasol nostrils we're gonna get under them oh perfect i'd just like to point out it's not as dead as rob said it was his fucking grandpa everyone knows what's going on
a great day. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Until tomorrow. Yeah, all when turn. we get to do the same thing, but I can go home and have noodles in bed. We will uh, now get the train home, which somehow takes twice as long as the train here. Because we had to wait for an hour in Stevenage for no fucking point. Who the fuck's Stevenage? Who the fuck's Peter Burrow? Why have we got to stop at him for two hours? I've never been more grateful for everyone that comes and says hello. We have had we have met some wonderful people today and I love you all very much. Well, folks, as we leave site to head back on the train, it's only right that we give you one of our favourite festivals! Toilet yeah, yeah. review! Do you know what? Not bad, can't argue. We'll see you next time. Mary? She is always in my corner. Right? What are you planning to do with those stupid nipples? I know what you're going to say. Pop out invasion, pop out invasion. So I'm a sucker for some crisps that you don't normally find. So I've bought loads of crisps that you don't normally find, including spicy knickknacks in a grab bag. Very rare in that size bag. People can. Oi, I listen. call everyone guys. Right, it don't matter. Guys is fine. Guys, what have I you bought? Give a shit. What have you bought? You call me a guy, that's fine. What have guys you bought? Is what about if I call you a dickhead? Oh. I just point out, Rob just said guys are fine. What have you bought? Water. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but you know when a dead whale is beached, it can explode. <laughs> Mez, what you got in your pockets? Oh, fucking hell. Well, after. Oh my god, I'm very sunburnt. For fuck's sake. Four hour train ride home. I'm excited to go to bed. Today was awesome, so I'm ready for round two. Good night. Ad time. Folks, I am so pleased to tell you all that our good friend Fat Frank is back and is sponsoring this video. Let me tell you a little bit about our pal Frankie. Fat Frank's is a camping supply store that has all your festival needs at all these different festivals. We We've used Fat Franks on multiple occasions and they've always come in handy when we've obviously forgotten something. The real thing that makes Fat Franks so good is their online click and collect system. You can just go on their website before you get to the festival, pre-order what it is that you need and then when you get to site you just collect it from them nice and easy. They've got it with your name on it. All their products are high quality and built to last so that means you can take them home and use them again and again and again. We've started going to a lot of festivals in different countries and what we have to do when we land is go to the camping shop and buy stuff and I wish every festival had a Fat Frank stall there so we could just get it on site and save some time and some money. Yo, it's me MK, I'm in the ad read as well. I'm gonna tell you something else sick about Fat Frank. As well as selling airbeds so you don't have to bother bringing one with you, they'll also blow one up for you for free. So you don't have to mess around with pumps, etc. <laughs> Don't get caught lacking at a festival like we did at Electric Picnic last year. You don't want to be sleeping on the floor, so make sure you use Fat Frank's Camping Shop. Good news, if you order online for Click and Collect, you can use the code TPDTV10 on screen right now to get an extra 10% off. So go and see Frank and tell him that TPDTV sent you and you won't be sorry. Is that a phrase, you won't be sorry? Anything can be a phrase. I think so.
You'll be really glad that you did it. <laughs> Thanks, Pat Frank, for sponsoring this video. We love you. A Dover. All righty, Slam Dunk North. I'm ready for this one. Yesterday it was so good. My sunburn's not as bad as I thought. Feeling good, Chuck? Feeling great, mate. Ready for Slam Dunk? I am indeed. After after you went yesterday, it sounded like it was a good time. Was so excellent. Roll on today. Well, everyone, we've arrived, despite your directions. Good. Excited? Hey, uh, yeah, I am actually, yeah. You ever been to this landmark before? Not to this where it's yeah, moved, no. no. You've only been to the city one? Yeah. What are you expecting? Well, Beers. Yeah. Yeah. Bands. Yeah. A bloody good time. <laughs> that took way too long to get here. But here we are, on site again, ready to listen to some pop punk. The easiest kind of music to make. The weather's not as good, is it? It's not, and I didn't bring a jacket today, that's shit. Mine's on a bit tight, what about yours? Yeah, mine's on very tight. It's a much better selection. The North Bar, you can get cocktails Shout out Holding Absence. I don't know too many of your songs, but you seem like literally the nicest fucking band on the planet. I know a lot of your songs. The do you know sick. what? The ones I do know are awesome, and I'm glad to see you doing so well. Big up Holding Absence. Maybe come on podcast. Love you, Lucas. That was some good drumming. One thing that has been great about Slamdog this year is they've used the Sea Tickets wallet app. And what that means is it downloads your ticket locally. So you don't have to do all the fucking around when you're getting in and you're like, oh, I don't have signal, I can't get my ticket. It's all local. That's great. What isn't great, so I have to give it a bit of a shit sandwich, of course, is the Slam Dunk app. So if I open up the Slam Dunk app, what it's going to do is because I've, I've, I'm connected to the internet over 4G, but there's not enough bandwidth, it's going to say slow internet connection and then it's just going to time out. So here's a little trick. What you need to do is go airplane mode on and then you can enter so a bit of a criticism there shout out to the devs bit of a bug for you but then you can get into it and there it is here comes the end of the shit sandwich something really great is when you have like favorited all the artists that you, that you want like i don't know let's say i want to see real friends next at 1535 what that'll do is it goes into your iCal so your calendar on your iphone and being a watch wearer That'll go straight on my notifications right there. So then I can flick through and go, rather than whipping out my phone, I can be like, oh yeah, real friends at, at 15.35. So I've got 20 minutes and I don't even have to get out my phone. Rock and so, roll. So some good points, some bad points, some room for improvements, but overall, very good. <laughs> Live Life Loud is like the degenerate <laughs> Live Laugh Love. It's like the CEX <laughs> slogan, isn't it? 40 quid for that shitter. No, you didn't. Yeah, mate, I'm fucking multi. God, that's like, oh. that's like a trip to Waggers. Yeah, but you know what's cheaper? Oh. Seven and beer. Go so off the sea, Boston Manor. Yeah. And like the other side of the festival. It's the start of the power hour. You got Boston Manor, kissing glass houses, and our best mates and escape the fate, baby. Yeah! See you off, Razzie! Give it a chug! Time. One thing I can notice here at North is the queues for food are fucking huge. Do you reckon I could sue them for a hangover because I've been unable to get some food because the queue's so big, but I'm able to get some beers? It's ram beer. It's mental. Just for the food. The food is the real headline act right now. Big up Slam Dunk for selling out this year, rightly so. But could you like not sell out next time because it's fucking well busy and I can't fucking get anywhere? God, we got swarmed going oh, through there. Me and Chris bought these jackets and hooded because it was freezing and there was no hope of the sun coming out. Within 10 minutes, look at the sky and the sun. It's warm now. So we're watching Boston Manor and they are great. But I have to say, I reckon writing a pop punk song is like quite easy. I actually quite like Boston Manor. I think they're really good. So I that rock for people last year. Thought they were brilliant. So I'm really enjoying seeing them outside the tent because we can't get in because it's that busy. Here we have a strap. Don't get excited, Ross. It's not one of them kind of straps. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what's happening right now, but you should know by now what this is. A little circle, I see. I'm going to start calling Ross Peggy Sue. It is 
stupidly busy here, ridiculously busy. So we're gonna have a look around and we're gonna show you what there is to do, but we're, we're gonna try our best, but I don't think we can get about that easily. Yeah, we should put all the food in one close vicinity, rather than spread them out equally all over the festival. Just pop them all down one alleyway. That'll, that'll work really well. Nah, this is the first time I've gone to a festival where the main stock is just socks. And if you look over there where it says American socks, it's just all socks. Have a look. What's American about these? What is American about these? Imported from America. I don't know. You can, you can buy these. Why do they have the pound after? Why do they have the pound after? That's weird. Like, It'd be great if there was some food down here that just no one knew about. It's like if you went to a record store in hell for the Offspring albums in a row. I thought you liked the Offspring. No, I do, but like, you know, you don't want four albums worth, do you? For anyone that hasn't watched our podcast series on the, ranking the festivals of 2023, then this might not mean anything to you, but you should really watch them and subscribe down below because this is rated, spoiler alert, as the worst festival of 2023. It's not like it's fucking hard to write a pop punk song. Like they're just, they're all the fucking same. It's touching me ass, I did not consent. Circle of trust. Right, we're dancing our way over to see Escape the Fate again. Slam dunk, you have popped yourself and not in a kill yourself way. Give me what I want! Which one of those queues are we jumping in, eh? The guest one, that's all the way back where we just came from. My question is, why is he breaking out when you can just walk He's out? He's proving how weak security is. He's showing a loophole in the system. Well, once again, Escape the Fate were class. It's just me and Raz, so I think we lived in the moment, maybe didn't get any footage, but here's some footage from yesterday just to pad it out. Can you help me in this? That was, that was the highlight of my year so far. Now we're gonna brave the queue for some food, which is easier said than done. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Still in my classes, sir. You know what? It might not have looked too appealing. That was fucking nice. And it got absolutely inhaled by me. Inhaler! So we've had a great time this weekend. It's been class. It's been my favorite slam dunk by far. But there's a lot of talk online about it being one of the worst organized festivals going. And I haven't experienced any of that personally, but I have seen terrible traffic issues yesterday. And the food queue was over an hour. Great festival, had a lot of fun, sort that out. But I've had enough fun to not worry about it. And I've just had a pizza. Right, we're off to see a band called Bowling for Soup. <laughs> On behalf of Soup, shut up. Everyone shut up. Number one fan, apparently. That's what I'm learning today. I've been to see the 1975 with Mary on multiple occasions and she's never got as excited for a band as she has right now. I'm, I'm telling you, she's the biggest bowl of a soup fan you've ever met. The thing with pop punk like this is, is, I like it, it's fine, but it's it's really fucking easy to write in it. And this is I, think, I reckon I could write one of these. I don't think you could. Me and, and the boys, if we wrote a pop punk song, it would be better than this. No, and we could do it.
Because we have got the after party to go to, which is going to be a big one. And it's also my birthday, just to make it a bit more about me. Oh, that's how we Back fucking around. do it. Get me a full look, we a bit of a rock band too before we go And out. we'll listen to the offspring at home. Because we're having such good time at Bowling for Soup, it means we've missed the majority of the Hunters set. But we're going to make our way there now quickly so we can catch the last 10 minutes of it because Chris is dying to see them. Just to follow on from Jake's point that we're, uh, we've missed half the other set. Who gives a fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce to you Chris Pollard's favourite band. The only band that I know of that have ever moved their tour dates to coincide with the GCSE results. So, what have we learned at this festival? We've learned that Rob Kellis likes to go home. Was it any good? Was it any good? Was it any good? Was it any good? And, I, and I'm inclined to tell you, it was alright. So, I think the festival was how, how, how actually pretty good, you know. Really uh, good, I mean. Yeah. The food was okay. And not the tap like my nose. No, because that's a running tap for the blood and semen. <laughs> Usually what we do after Sam Dunk is we'll get an Uber into, into town. This time we're getting the shuttle bus, like a proper Slam Dunk festival goer. Yeah. The only issue I'm seeing with this shuttle bus right now is two of us don't have a ticket. 25 to 10, this is a queue for the shuttle bus. Right. Oh, go on, happen. lads. My mate just got promoted. Big shout out to anyone that was a part of the bus spotter days. Those were good times. The bus is... 
Bussies are my favourite, I love bussies. It's exciting, isn't it, guys? You know what's not exciting? <laughs> the fact that I paid five for pounds. <laughs> no, why do we pay for this? <laughs> why did we pay for this? <laughs> These two twats got on for free. The bus is great, get the bus. Jake loves buses. This just in. Yeah. Pasty white ginger boy gets sunburned. Right, so for the first time, I think in history, I'm off to Slam Dunk North after party. I don't think I've ever made it to one of these no, before. I agree. There doesn't seem to be an awful lot of people here. Well, because we're not near Academy, you we're dickhead. Around that corner. Right, let's oh, have a look then. Live in Leeds. Yeah, mate. Look I, beyond your big nose. You kidding me? You? Like, here's where you see. Just look a little bit further, and you'll see fucking no one's here. Yeah, Robbie! We like the party, we like the party. This is the best slam dunk you have to buy everyone, we're not even there yet. Just because I like music with guitars does not mean I want to listen to the same fucking Sun 41 song every night of my life. Jesus! Give me some more fucking music! when we were young and that was sick but Slam Dunk have been doing this shit for years man I've realised how good this festival is this year so big up the Slam Dunk team I know a lot of you personally and the ones I know you're doing a great job big up fist bump the screen now last time I heard this song I was Well, do you know what? If Slam Dunk's are anything to go by, it's been a fucking riot. Thank you so much, Slam Dunk, the organisers, everyone that came to say hello. I've never had better fan interactions than I have this weekend. It's been a fucking riot, so thanks for all the love. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run the Patreon credits on this side. And um, I'm just going to chat shit for like two minutes. Everyone on screen right now. It's easy to say thanks for supporting us on Patreon. It really is. But you really don't understand how much of an impact that makes. And if it wasn't for you lot, then we wouldn't get to do this. And the only reason we can make that happen is because of you lot. So I just want to recognise... Because I edit these, I see these names. Every week, I'll meet someone and they'll tell me their name. And it's like, oh shit. I've seen your name on my screen for the last fucking however long. And I'm just so blessed that we are just so blessed that, that we get to, to be in that position. So thank you so, so fucking much. I've had a riot at Slam Dunk. And if you think this is a good video, press like. If you think it's not that good of a video, press like. And if you want to see some mental shit in 2023 from me and the boys, then I've got some good news for you. Stay tuned and press like. Right, bedtime for me. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Kelly out. So I'm going to say it's like Kelly out. It's like Kellis. Kelly's a bit. Oh, it's like ah, Kelly in it. Fucking hell. Do you know what? I don't matter. Have a good night.